Hey, welcome back. Uh, if you've seen our other videos, we've done some guitar amps lately. We did the Fender, we did our Ignator, and today we're going to do a new one. Uh, but first, what's new here? Um, you may have seen our video about our piano and not being able to be tuned and how bad it sounded. There's some clips of that online. Um, so it's actually getting slowly transformed into a digital uh, piano. I'm going to stick a digital piano in basically the the body of the piano. Took out all the keys. Anyways, um, that's what's happening with that. Now, um, we might do a video on what that's going to look like once we get the piano. we got to find something that's going to fit. So anyways, uh, today we are going to move on to what else is new. And the next thing that is new is our Vox AC30, which is right over there. Um, I will, uh, I'll cut to how we have some stuff set on it. Um, how we have the video, there's already a short on it, um, on how that looks. But anyways, um, it's not how it's set, it's just the controls of it, it's like an overview. Anyways, um, I guess we'll pan to that now. So, uh, take a look. All right, we got our Vox AC30 here. Um, before we go through how it sounds, let's look at what the controls are. So as I lean it forward here, you've got, given it's kind of upside down to us, but you've got normal high and low inputs and top boost high and low inputs. And that's basically your, um, basically you got too hot of a signal, you can go into uh, the high. If you got a lower signal, you can go into the lower. Um, I haven't noticed much difference between the two, but we'll go over that in the video more here soon. Um, you've got normal volume normal here this is your top boost um section so you've got a volume a treble and a bass for it which is nice the top boost is the only one that has the treble and bass in it on this amp um, you've got your reverb with your tone and levels you've got your tremolo with your uh, speed and depth i'm just gonna make sure those are both down and then our master section here has a tone cut so you can kind of you know if it's too bright of a you like how the signal sounds, but just a little too bright, you can drop it down a little bit. And then the master volume along with our uh, standby and on off. So, you know, standby clicks on and off. It's not currently plugged in right now, um, but it will be for the rest of this video. So that is our Vox AC30 controls. Um, does have a pair of uh, their Celestian um, greenbacks. So. Um, I guess we'll take a look at how it sounds here now. All right, so now we're back. Um, now you've seen the, the controls of this particular amplifier. Um, this is the Vox AC30C2. And we're going to kind of start with a cleanish tone and kind of go into an overdriven tone. And this amp has, we've been playing with it all morning, and it has a ton of really cool sounds to it. So anyways, we'll kind of start here and start clean. So I'm going to strum a note here. Kind of nice and clean. Anyways, and as we push our volume of the guitar into that, it gets... So anyways, that's kind of the difference between the clean, clean and the tone. This amp technically has two channels. It has a clean, I guess it's just a single input, um, and then it's got a, what's called top boost, which it gets you a little, a little more control. You get a high and a treble, or I'm sorry, you get a treble and a boost on it. So um, it gives you a little more control to the actual amplifier. Um, but that's kind of the sound of this particular amplifier. It's not overly complex. Um, everybody's had one, the, the Beatles, the Rolling, I think, I don't know if the Rolling Stones did. I know the Beatles had some, they kind of started out with Vox, moved to Fender. Um, let's see, Al Brian May, um, had one. They have been used a ton. Every, uh, every country album that's out there has some sort of, some sort of this guitar on it.
So anyways, um, that's just kind of how that sounds. Um, love playing through this amp. Um, had one a long time ago, sold it to buy a Fender amp, and then bought an Ignator, you know. So, so now, we, now we've got a Fen we got the Vox back here in the studio, and maybe um, in the coming weeks we'll do kind of a shootout between, okay, here's the Vox, okay, da da da, -da here's the Fender, da da, -da. Here's how the Ignator sounds compared to the Fox and the Fender, because the Ignator is kind of a breed of its own amplifier. So anyways, um, that is our lovely Vox. Um, it's uh, a great little amp. It's not little. It's 70 pounds. Um, it's not little. It's a big boy uh, of an amplifier. It's got two 12s in it um, that are greenbacks. Um, and I do like the greenbacks because they're a little more mellower than the Onico Blues that usually came in uh, a Vox. Like the original, I think the original Vox AC30s had Onico Blues in them. I'm not entirely sure because there's a couple iterations that happened over the years of these amplifiers. So anyways, um, love the Vox. It's a very versatile amp. The Fender is good. It's got its tones. It's more, our Blues Deluxe is very much, it's a bluesy amp. It sounds great. But it's very much for blues and you know some 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 forms of rock, but the Vox it just it it cuts. It's just so. Anyways, um, I, I can't help but just love the tone of this amp. Um, I'm glad that we actually got one back. Um, they do have a lot of tubes in them. They've got uh, EL eighty fours in them. And it's got, that's for power section. Uh, I think the power, I think the preamp is just 12 AX7s. Um, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong on the configuration of this particular amp, but I believe that's what's in them. I do know that the power section is three EL84s, and they're, they're worth every penny of it. So anyways, uh, we want to thank you for liking and subscribing to our channel and watching our shorts and watching our long videos and commenting and all that stuff. We greatly appreciate it. Um, please do more. Um, if you like our videos, if you know somebody who might like our videos, you know, send them a link about our stuff. If you find them amusing, you find this just interesting. There's a ton of videos out like this, but um, yeah, just kind of hit the like and subscribe buttons, hit the bell and you'll get more notifications when we do new stuff, when we drop new stuff, when we do stuff like this. So anyways, uh, be on the lookout for a video near you.